Kimura. We'll do basic, but I mean, there's a lot of advanced people here today, so we'll do some more advanced stuff too. But get everyone on the same page, clear the arms. You got to make him base on the ground, palm on the ground. Okay. I'm going to uncross my ankles. If you're really tall, you don't have to. Sometimes guys can come into position with their ankles crossed. I happen to be tall, so I can do that occasionally, but I almost never do because it's easier for the guy to smash you with that shoulder down, right? So it's better if you can move the hip out and make the space where you enter. Now, I'm not using my thumb. I like to, you can use your thumb. I prefer no thumb. We're coming up. I'm gonna collapse that elbow, okay? And then I can use my knees to kind of kick off that rotation. I have to get an angle on him. You gotta move twice, okay? If you move once, it's okay. A lot of people do this, right? One and then extend. But you really want two. The two is where it's at. Then you can secure that heel on the opposite side of his hip and go into the Kimura, okay? So we're here. Now note that I do not lose connection with my hands. For example, I cleared it, and then I come up into position and roll out into the kimono. So if you can do it with no loss of connection, you clear it, I sit up, I'm connected on that palm, one, two, hook with that heel, boom, take your kimono, okay? Let's start with the basic. All right, one, two, three. Separate the arms, we make him place his weight on the ground. You can also use your knee to kind of kick him into you and then wrap around. Now, the closer you are to the shoulder, is you need more arm length to be able to connect to your wrist. So if you can enter just over that elbow, it's gonna be easier to connect, okay? Then you get your, your hip moves, and at the end, you wanna kind of roll that shoulder back and tighten it up. Now, what happens if they straighten it? Because any bent arm lock goes to a straight, to a to undo any straight, they go bent, bent, straight, straight, bent. Okay, so I'm gonna kick him forward with my knee. I connect, he straightens, and immediately you wanna guide this into your shoulder. Okay. On the other side, open here. I bring him up, immediately guide it to the shoulder, and I want his thumb down. I have this open palm, so I guide it into the shoulder. And then I want to straighten my arms so that my shoulder and neck are really, really pinching. Then you can move out well, and keep it trapped into that huggy bear, straight arm lock, whatever, telephone arm lock. I'm here, I bring him forward at that elbow. He starts to straighten. I allow my hand to rotate or allow his hand to rotate just a little bit, okay? I, want, I don't need to turn it. It's gonna naturally rotate, and then I put the brakes on, and the brake is my neck and my shoulder. Those are the calipers, right? So, here we are, boom, bring him forward. He straightens it out, guide it to that shoulder. Move out. I like to get the knee on the shoulder, and then I reinforce the elbow, and I go to the telephone arm. One last time. Boom, here, bring him forward. He straightens that out, totally fine. Move it out and take it. Okay, bent to straight, one, two, three. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do everything the same. You can use your knee, you can come up into the position. Okay, he straightens his arm and this time, and, and postures up just a little bit. So I like to bring this across. That, that happens a lot. The, the guy feels like, oh, something bad is happening, so he wants to undo it. So I guide and then I scoop behind his tricep and bring it around, grab his lat. Now we go into our flower sweep. Boom. And if you can, just go ahead and take your, your arm lock right here. Okay, keep it tight. Keep everything. You got that arm crossed up, that's your advantage. You need to capitalize on that. So we're here, boom. Come up into it. He straightens, I pull that arm over in slow, in slow motion. He straightens it and I guide it. I go from over hooking his tricep to cupping, guiding it through, okay? I'm gonna come around. I like to bring that opposite thigh up, which pulls him forward and helps him rotate so I can grab his lat, grab his, his leg. Now, don't bridge off the ground here. 
You won't actually want to use the momentum of your leg to change your angle and then cut it under. Scoop that arm, this, this, uh, uh, his uh, tricep is pressed with my, with my sternum. Slide that knee up to the head. Flip it over. If you need to, oh, you got that Americana there. And then you can sit back for your arm lock. Okay, one more time. You can do the other side. Once I'm here, you can bring this forward. Oh, he straightens. Bring it across. Come into that lat position. Middle finger in the lat. Arm goes under the hamstring, shift, then kick it over. Okay, and I'm, I'm not gonna let this come back down to the ground. I wanna cup it right away, slide, and then take your arm lock on top. We're all advanced people. Let's do it, one, two, three. We go for the Kimura, he straightens it out, same thing, and now we're just gonna go to an arm lock on this side. So I block that face. Okay. If you want to step on the on the hip and drive, but knocking him forward like this and getting that nice bite behind the armpit is really important. Okay. You can hold this space with your palm until the other leg goes over. We're not crossing. We want knee in, heel out, and then you you have your arm lock. Okay. So on the other side, I'm here. He straightens in posture. Boom. I want to I want to take advantage of that. I ride it all the way to this to this uh, other side, place my forearm across his face, and I, I wanna kinda hold him down here. If you, you can grip if you'd like, then swing the leg into position, okay? So you wanna ride that momentum from here, oh, boom, and snap your legs around. It should be kinda circular. Coming up, he straightens it out. Use your legs. Use your legs to break dance spin into that position. One more time. Block legs. Allow me to rotate into the, into the position. Okay. 